Oh, what's up, my pilots? Hangar Punch here. We're back playing Crash Team Racing, and it's our last Gem Cup. A sad day, yet also an exciting one, for soon we move on to time trial races, which are a whole new animal. This Gem Cup is the purple one, and it's different from the others because we're not racing against the usual uh, compadres. We are racing against the four boss characters, and why they chose to put the best one in the back eludes me. But here we go. It's in the order that we've met them. I don't think they have their items. They don't have their infinite items for these races. But they do have, I think, greater speed and intelligence. Uh, and as and intelligence is, of course, only seen through their track. Uh, oh, I went out of the tube for a second. That's new. Intelligence is only seen in this game by what items they are able to use effectively, like where they put potions, that kind of thing, and what angles they choose, how, what parts of the track they decide to drive Say over, whether or not they're aware of certain shortcuts. Hit him, not me! Uh, oh wow, I think I got caught in the corner of the track. That was lucky. This is a short track. I gotta stay in front. I gotta get in front and stay there. Anyway, they, they do have higher intelligence and speed, I suspect. But it's only suspicion. They just they seem to be giving me trouble. They're certainly getting some good items. I hear a lot of rockets going off. We got one of them fired at us by Papu that missed at the wall, and we evaded that other one by some kind of luck. I don't want to blow this guy up, but I can't throw that thing in front of me. I'll leave it here. Oh, look at that! He's trying it on me. Ah, I, want, I need something I can put in front of me, game. Come on, give me a rocket or even a bomb. I can hit him with a bomb. He still has his item from last time. What was it? Oh, not gonna, stop giving me nitro crates. I need to blow up Papu, man. I can tell he's gonna be the one who gives me trouble. He's in front. Okay, this is gonna be close. Oh, no it's not. Wow. Yeah, that shortcut uh, you take there helps you beat Rue the first time, and it'll help you in this gem cup, too. Took four seconds off the time. Plus, I had the one for the last round. Alright, I got my nine points for leading. I'm sure I get the sneaking feeling that I started something, a conversation topic, I mean, which I did not finish. I have that I have that unfinished feeling. Like I walked into a room and forgot why I went in there. <laughs> it's one of those moments where you just find yourself staring into the fridge. Like, I'm not even hungry. What is this? <laughs> Another interesting thing to note, apparently the order they finish in does not affect the lineup. At least it looks like that. Normally, when you do these, these, come on, run into it, Rue. No! No one will ever run into a potion I've thrown in front of me. I have not yet been able to throw a potion in front of me and have it land in front of another cart and have them run into it. It is something I could do as a kid, and I remember doing it several times, but I have not pulled it off a single time in this entire LP, and I, I've, I've vowed to do it. And this actually might be the last opportunity, one of the last opportunities to do it, be this episode. Papu is definitely the one that they have scripted to be good at these races. He, look at him, he's faster than me while I have a, a, a Aku Aku mask. Get! Look at this, he's staying ahead of me! That is ridiculous, that's some serious slingshot AI right there. Holy moly. Note to self, Papu is the threat. Yeah, I definitely forgot something I was going to say. I have that horrible feeling like you need to sneeze and it just won't happen. It's that, that anticipation. Uh, yeah, I'm taking it. No, oh, I shouldn't have done that stupid shortcut. It doesn't even cut much time off. I just decided I was going to go for it because they were shooting a rocket at me, and I thought it might make the rocket miss. Which is a silly reason, I know. If I were really good, I would have hit the speedrunner shortcut, which is land on the side of the track up there. Okay, cut. Oh, come on, I have to go around the outside of this plant now. Watch your back. That had some time. This is gonna be close. Oh look, they're all right in front of me here. Good. You're mine. Hello. Oh, I should have waited and used this later. Watch your back. I'm gonna bump into all the walls now. Wow, actually, I'm clearing them pretty well. That was good. I didn't gain as much time as I could have if I'd used it on the straightaway out here, but you know. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. I got a lot of potions back there. Rue hit one, haha. <laughs> just go straight on. I don't think cutting a, an angle across the track is worth You're it. Mine. Okay, 
I need to make it an inside this plant. Yeah, all right, look at this. I'm way out ahead. Why did everybody else stop? One of the car races has stopped back there. What is he doing? I wanted you to go back in the video and look at the yellow dot on the minimap. At some point, he just stops way back on the track there. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, good. Papu got fourth place. I think that means I can screw up the next two... Yeah, I'm way in the lead. I can screw up the next two races a little bit and I'll still win. That's a nice cushion to know I have. Who boy. What else should I talk about now? I, uh... Oh, hmm. I'm at a loss for ideas. Yeah, I remember what it was! It's the lineup. Okay, so normally when you do these Jam Cup races, the order that you finish the first race and the, and the third... Uh, and if rather, first and then third. I, I've forgotten how to count. It's getting really bad, guys. Uh, <laughs> normally, the order that you finish the first race. Look at he's faster than a rocket. That's nuts, Papu. You're OP for sure. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm gonna slow down just so you can blow me up. Oh uh, yeah, he got one of the other ones too. Nice. Normally, the order that you finish the first track determines the order that you sit on the line before the start of the second track. And the order you finish the second track determines the order you sit on the third track, and so on. Uh, so you're automatically at the end on the very first track, like you are on most races. Come on, give me something I can drop. Oh! 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 What is happening? Oh! <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, deploy flares! <laughs> okay, that was pretty sweet. I've never had that happen before. I was hoping that I would drop the potion and the rocket would just... I'm going to slow down so this car is in front of me. There we go. I was hoping that the potion would just get in the way, and the rocket would hit it, blow up, and I would be saved. But it would seem that it missed the potion entirely, and the angle of that turn was just barely was weird somehow. I don't know why that turn did it when it's very... I've never seen it happen before. I don't remember. It might have when I was younger. <sighs> Getting an inkling. Anyway, I don't know why the rocket decided to go all crazy like that, but what it actually ended up doing was pretty sweet. Went all the way around in front of me. <laughs> Got my ass popped. That's what you get for tailgating. The rocket flew all the way around me and then just kind of went like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm running to a wall. <laughs> like, ah, oh, who am I kidding? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a rocket with self-esteem issues. Unlike me, I have ex ex exorbitant amounts of self-esteem. I'm winning races in a row, in a row, in a row here. That makes three. And these are the boss tracks, too, so they're kind of annoying tracks. Uh, the carts, on, the mine carts on that track, of course, being the most obvious annoying thing. <laughs> yeah, so the, the track orders don't seem to be changing. They're always sitting... I'm in front, which is a nice advantage. Uh, and the four of them are sitting in the order that you see them. I totally blew that from the start. Rather than the order they finished the last track. Papu cut me off and took that item. You son of a... Mayan. This is gonna be fun. I can, you know what, I can probably... What have I gotten? 27 and the next closest person is 10? Yeah, I can, I can get last place and still win. It doesn't matter what happens on this track. Of course, I have to finish it still, so I might as well do it quick. So I watched the entire speedrun of this game. I guess it was like a month ago. Quit getting good items. They definitely have a preference for good items, like the rockets that they've been getting a lot of. It seems that way, at least. I haven't, I've gotten a few good items, though. I shouldn't knock my own luck here. So I got a Aku Mask once, I believe, and I got that bubble just when I needed it to block Papu from passing me. Which is probably illegal. <laughs> Blocking someone trying to pass you? I imagine so. Come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, come on, Rue, you should've... Early, early, what's the word? Uh, detonated. You should have early detonated that bomb so that it would have hit Papu. Said he balls it up. I'm gonna try and do a very sharp turn here. Woo! How many more of these guys can I hit? Oh, I got another one. Yeah, this is great luck. Two Aku masks is pretty much a guaranteed win. But look at how fast Papu is. Barely catching up to him. There we go. That's satisfying. Running into somebody with one of those Aku masks is uh, pretty much one of the funnest things in this whole game. <laughs> Just like, ha, huh, I'm faster than you, and I knock you on your ass. That's what it must, that's what it must be like to uh, feel like to be an athlete. <laughs> All right. Hey, who put that TNT crate up in the air? How'd that get up there? Is that one of the, is that one of the jumps later? You actually go over the other part of the track? I should look closer at the map. I can't tell. Maybe it is. 
I don't remember there being a jump over any parts of the track. Otherwise, there'd probably be a shortcut. Unless the jump occurs... Oh, was that the, was that the crate I was looking at up there? Because I think I've got it there. Sit still. Oh, I still got him. I only got in Papu's way, even better. Just great. Yeah, another shield. Oh, I shouldn't have used it, though. Because the green ones will wear off over time. And I might, I might have... should have held it so that I could fire it at somebody rather than just wasting it like I just did. Those are some consistent lap times. Look at those first two lap times. Less than a quarter of a second apart. Very close. Keegan bubbles, which is nice considering I'm in front and there's going to be stuff fired at me, but I'd rather have an item that would make me extend my lead. Like an Aku mask or, uh, you know, anything. Here we go. Okay, now in order to use this potion, if I wanted to use it, I'd have to fire my shield off. Which I think I'm going to do. Just because I'm going to put a potion right in the middle of the track, where, it, where it's nice and narrow back there. I'm getting a lot of good power slides in this, this race. It's going well. Papu's still riding my tail, though. Clearly rubber-banding me. The AI is just not letting him get too far behind me. It's, if I get too far ahead, it, it rubber bands. It springs him back up towards me. Oh, I was trying to go around that. Not right in front of it. Damn, I might end up in last now. I lost my momentum. And I don't just mean I was in the lead and now I'm not. I mean, I stopped and I had to restart the cart. <laughs> like, oh, I'm stalled out. Wouldn't that suck if it was just a random chance that your cart just stalls out? Looks like I might get second place. Oh well. Oh wait, if I can do this bomb just right. No, he was already across the line. Oh well, I did hit him though, so kudos for trying. Second place, doesn't matter. I'm gonna get six points, and that is gonna put me well in the lead, 33 to 19. I win the Purple Gem Cup, which is the last Gem Cup. We now have all five of the gems, and since this video went by pretty quickly, actually faster than the last one, probably because Ripperoo's track is so short, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you what track we unlocked. Yes, yes, it's very exciting. I'm a dancing... I almost said kangaroo, but he's a bandicoot. Everybody knows he's a bandicoot. It's Crash Bandicoot. Congratulations! You won a gem! That's something that only animals get to enjoy, is having your species as your last name. Flick, what if I was just Trevor Human? Not exciting at all. So we unlocked Turbo Track, which apparently has a Relic Race on it. What a great way to start with a Relic Race. Uh, the Relic Races is what we're going to be going for next. I was calling them tri Time Trials uh, in this video and in the previous one, but they're technically called Relic Races in this game. But really, they're Time Trials. It's a race against the clock. So the cool thing with Turbo Track is it's just basically this basic race track with a couple straightaways, a nice hairpin S-curve, and tires. But what makes it fun is that there are a lot of turbo pads all over the track in, in various places. You know, some on this side of the tires, some on that side of the tires. The tires are bouncy, by the way. If you want to run into those, you lose a lot of momentum. Although they do kind of bounce in the direction that you should have been going, which is helpful. I don't know why, but as a kid, I always thought that that black and white pattern on the track was slowing you down. Maybe it's just because it looks like the mud from other tracks, like uh, Tiny's Arena. But I don't think it actually does. I think it's just colors. It doesn't actually affect your speed, as far as I know. But as a kid, I was convinced it did. I was like, oh, this stuff's slowing me down. Maybe it's just a visual illusion, and the being able to see something on the track that lets you gauge your speed more accurately makes you feel like you're going slower whereas if you have uh, a whole bunch of <laughs> rather if you have nothing to, to base your your vision on to gauge your speed you feel like you're going really fast because all you can see is the individual pixels whipping by at great speed best to just go slower on these I mean, if, you cut, if you cut the corners really close it makes it a lot shorter and that makes up for you going so much slower. Got a, a lot of crates. I need to go on the outside of those tires next time. I guarantee you there's some boxes back there. Now I'm actually getting the opposite effect. As a kid, I always thought that those strikes slowed me down, but now I'm starting to feel like they makes me look like I'm going faster. Look at all the stuff back here. Who, who put these boxes behind the tires? No one would ever go behind the tires. That's supposed to be our bounds, right? Nope. 
Not in this game. I'm going behind the tires again. Ryan, oh, I missed the best one! I missed the three! That's sad. That makes me sad. I might have to do this twice. That's fine. I love how that's like a problem for me. It's like, I might have to do this track more than once. Eh. FYI, I'm using the handbrake, which is the square button, rather than the R1 jump turn, uh, because it's a sharper turn. You lose speed, but it's, I think it's worth it. I missed two boxes, and they're both on the outside of, of the... Oh, wow. I got, I'm not going to do it again. I got fast enough for a platinum. That is the best it gets. So that is a... It's not a perfect, but it's, it's enough for the platinum, which is the highest tier. So basically, I win. <laughs> cool. Very nice. That was actually pretty easy. And we'll exit the map. Getting a Platinum is, is the highest goal for Relic races, and I won't be getting Platinums on all the tracks. I I will be getting a Relic on every track, but on some of them it's going to be just the lowest level, which is Sapphire. You got Sapphire, Gold, and Platinum. That's the three levels. Why the hell they didn't just do Bronze, Silver, and Gold is beyond me, but there you go. Sapphire, Gold, and Platinum. <laughs> Whatever. Platinum's the best, so we are uh, well accomplished on Turbo Track. Great. You earn a Relic. I must admit, I completely misremembered uh, Turbo Track. I thought it was a track where the entire thing was nothing but turbo spots. Maybe I was wrong about that. Is that Slide Coliseum? I don't know what that one is either. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to start doing the Relic Races, which I guess means I should make my way back to the start. So we can start from the start, from the start right from the heart. It stinks like a fart. Uh, do the very first tracks that we encountered first. So we've already done out here we have Crash Cove. So in the next episode we'll start with, uh, what is it out here? Is this Ruse Tubes? No it's not, isn't it? This is Ruse Tubes. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we start doing the Relic Races. Double outro? Double outro. <laughs>